Oh, right, here we go. It's my first attempt at a voiceover. Trust me, this is more painful for me than it's ever going to be for you. And yes, after having to sit through my Hoonigan video, I am well aware that I sound like the missing member of the Wurzels. But I've wanted to put this out there for a while now, and unfortunately for you and for me, this is kind of the only way it makes any sense. Anyway, my waffle timer is about to expire, so let's just get stuck into it. So this is me on the runway at Supercar Fest 2023 in my Autograss Class 8. By the way, big thank you to them for even giving me the opportunity in the first place. And if you can, then get along to one of their events. It is just wall to wall with the best cars on the planet. Now, I was eager to find out just what speed my Class 8 was capable of doing. But for whatever reason, my car wouldn't trigger their speed traps properly. I've no idea why, it, it just didn't. So I've had to resort to running the GoPro footage through my video editor and using what little reference I could find to, to try and work it out. Now the biggest issue I have is... I'm not a smart man. As you can see here, as I go all the way to fifth gear with, uh, with one hand on the steering wheel. Okay, now before I get too into this, I just want to say my aim for the day was to get or be 130 mile an hour, which would have matched some of the like lower end supercars that were there on the day. As you can see from the definitely 100% not clickbait title, the number I ended up with is well north of that. And I mean, like, if I'd known I was going that fast, I would have been shitting myself north of that mark. But anyway, let's wind it back. I'll show you how I've worked it out and you can jump in the comments and you can tell me exactly how I did it wrong. So on the left hand side here are the 100 meter warning boards before the finish line. We have the 300 meters and then the 200 meters, which isn't in quite the same place. And it's hard to get it in the right place because I'm fast as fuck, boy. But we'll drop that clip into Filmora and then I'll scoot along and I'll find that 300 meter board again. And then we'll get that 300 meter board right to the edge of the screen. So one more frame, it disappears. That means the closest I can get it to the edge of the screen is just there. So then we go up, we find the 200 meter board. We get that as close to the edge of the screen as we can get it. And like I said, this isn't in quite the same place. So what I'm going to do is go one more frame. And you can see there's less of the board showing. So I've gone slightly further than 100 meters rather than working out from going slightly less than 100 meters. So the speed I've worked out should be slightly lower than I was actually going rather than being slightly higher than I was actually going. Anyway, that clip there is one second and six frames long. Now my GoPro records at 29.97 frames per second, which is inconvenient, but I'm working with what I've got here. So give me a break. So we take one second, we divide that by 29.97 frames per second. That gives us 0 0.033. Yeah, that number. We times that by six, that gives us 0 0.200, yeah, that number. And then we add the one whole second. And that means that one, se one second and six frames is 1.200 to that number there. So we copy that. We take it over to our speed distance time online calculator because I don't trust my own maths. So we've got our distance is 100 meters. And we got our time, which is 1.2002, that number seconds. So all we got to do now is hit calculate. And there we have it, 186.38 miles per hour. Yeah. Awkward silence. I was thinking the same thing. <laughs> it is a flex to be able to say to some degree that you I've done that speed in that car but I'm also f fairly confident that something in my maths or my calculations or my working out somewhere is definitely wrong so keyboard warriors experts alike let's hear what you've got to say tell me what I did wrong and we'll get it rectified but until then I'm gonna stick with the fact that I've done nearly 190 mile an hour <laughs> in my raggedy ass glass eight because i have no doubt about it i will be the first one to tell you that my car is not a top example of a class eight 
it's the best I can afford and it's what I've got to work with and it does me proud but there are much nicer much more expensive much better prepared cars out there than mine and I do seem to be one of a select few missing that part of their brain that tells them rattling down a runway at high speeds in a car you built yourself in your garage is probably not the best idea but it is good for content so if any of you are still stuck around at the end of this what five and a half minute video then i do appreciate the watch time and if i'm completely honest with you i have absolutely no idea how to end the youtube video. i know they usually say like comment subscribe but i'm just i'm just not here for that but one thing i will say is i do plan on doing a response to anything that comes about this video any comments any suggestions any anyone pointing out that i might have got it wrong yeah um let me know what you all think and if you never want to hear my voice on a video ever again that can definitely be arranged as well and i'm just going to end the video just there